My favorite Jerry moment is when you switched down his potato soup with glue and he didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> you're so cute when you're bullying, babe. <laughs> you know what? Emma's right. This is mean. We are going to pick up Jerry. What? No! no. It's Christmas time. Don't you want to be good people? Not really. Never! You can come in if you do something nice for Jerry. Hey! I already did something nice for Jerry. I drove here to take him to Jerry dinner. Oh, Donna. You can come in. <gasps> oh, okay. What? <laughs> what, 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 what Merry Christmas, bitches! I feel that some structural changes could really unlock this department's potential. Jerry, hmm? I believe you are capable of much more. I'm not. Nonsense. Look in the mirror. Huh? You are an intelligent, charismatic, beautiful superhero. I'm making you head of public relations, which means you'll be leading the daily briefing sessions. Excellent idea. Ha ha, guys, really funny. Where's the real banner? We only had an hour. So did I. Look what I did. Hey, guys. Jerry! Welcome back! Yeah. Oh, really, my gosh, you should not have gone to all this trouble. Oh, wow. it's no trouble for our buddy. Here you go. Oh. Listen, today is Jerry Day. We'll do whatever you want to do, anything at all. Honestly, what I would like to do is just have everything go back to normal. That sounds good to me. Okay. I believe you were going to do a presentation. Yes, sir, I was. I will go set up. Okay. Remember, you guys, no jokes, no comments, nothing but support. He needs a lot of support. Tom. You're talking about a bra for a man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, seriously, that was the last one. So. As we know, spring hunting season is upon us. Uh, anyway, here's the info about the new licensing system. Um, Jerry, I don't, I don't think your computer's plugged in. I'm sorry, guys. Just got to power up. First thing we should have is my graph about the season. What? Wait a minute, no. That is not the graph. That's a picture from my vacation to Muncie. You went on a vacation and you chose Muncie, Indiana? Yeah. My wife and I have a timeshare. In Muncie? Tom, Muncie is a lovely city. Anyway, hunting and fishing season is winding down, okay? And we all know that it's already closed season on trout. So now, I said trout instead of trout. It happens to everyone. My marbles are full of mouth today. <laughs> you know what, has anybody seen my glasses? I don't even think I can. Well, hello again. Are you ready to be nice to Jerry? Because it's so cold out here, it reminds me of my wife's lasagna. I actually like that one. Hey, guys, I thought you weren't coming. I no, never got your RSVP. Hi, Jerry, we got you a gift. Merry Christmas. Huh? Yeah, just we took up a collection to pay your hospital bills since you almost farted yourself to death. Every time we did something mean, put a dollar in a box. Wow, I'm the luckiest man on earth. Okay, well, come on in. It's a party. Oh, jeez. Wow, thanks, guys. This is really, this is really great. Okay, I want everyone to go around and tell their favorite Jerry story. <laughs> a positive one. Who's first? Jerry, today is your birthday, but it's about much more than that. It's also about Ann and I getting back together and being the hottest couple in Pawnee. I'd also like to announce our official relationship mashup name. It's Tan. To Tan. I would like to announce that the name Tan is officially over to the end of Tan. Havrikans, it is. Okay, Donna? I would like to address the fact that rule number seven says no pets, and yet there is a three-legged animal in my living okay. room. Ron? Uh, Jerry's work is often adequate. I'll go. Jerry has a wife and three beautiful daughters of full life, and that's amazing. Let's see, I really appreciate this, but I did promise Gail I would leave by five. <laughs> she has a tasty surprise waiting for me, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Gross, Jerry. She made a meatloaf. Well, this is better than meatloaf. When Jerry first applied for this job, one of his goals was to have a building named after him. Again, that is an absurd request, considering your work record. But I thought maybe he could have a room named after him. So, henceforth, Parks and Rec conference room will serve as a test.
testament to your years of public service. Oh my God. Come here. Whoa. Jerry Gergert's Memorial Conference Room. R.I.P. <laughs> oh, the guy at the black store thought you had died. It was a rush job, so we didn't have time to change it. It doesn't matter. We can just pretend it means retire in peace. Yeah, okay. So bring out the cake. Oh. Speech, speech, speech. Oh. <laughs> well, thank you, guys. I'm not much of a speech maker, but I do like good cake. Uh, mm. You're on fire. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, oh my God, Jerry! Oh. Whoa! Oh. Well, that went roughly as well as I thought it would. I promise, Gail, I'd leave at five. I guess this is it. <laughs> Bye! See you tomorrow, Jeremy. Jerry, I wanted to say I'm sorry that I screwed up your birthday party. Oh, that's okay. But we all pitched in, and we are sending you and Gail to a B&B &B in your favorite place in the world. Muncie? Amazingly, yes. Muncie, Indiana. Oh. Thank you, guys. It was really expensive. Sorry, right, sorry, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm trying to find my inhaler because I have no little. Take your time. I mean, it's not like we're trying to get work done here. Yeah, and Larry, by the way, you're looking in the wrong spot. Your inhaler is hidden under the pile of pistachio shells on my desk, obviously. Okay, well, that's funny because I'm terribly allergic to pistachios. Classic. Okay, you know what? I need to say something. I like Larry. He is a good friend and a fine man with an inexplicably gorgeous wife. I mean, to the point where it makes no sense at all. Sorry, getting off track. He's a nice person, and we should all stand up and say, I like. Ben, no, what are you doing? Uh, he's embarrassing himself and throwing away his career. Sweetheart, stop. Oh, captain, my captain. What is happening? Larry is my friend. Thank you, Ben. I mean that. Oh. Got so startled, I tooted. Come on, man. Gross! You know, I met Gail right here at Sherm's. Mm -hmm. She was slender, blonde hair, big brass, long legs. Ugh, not my type at all. And what was it exactly that led to you two hitting it off? Was she ill? Or did your father witness her father committing a crime? Or was she temporarily You know what, blind? all that matters is you got married and you're happy. So, as all-time best man, I suggest we raise a cone to Jerry Gergich. Jerry Gergich! Thank you. Who's Gary? Oh, I think that's supposed to be me. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> that's your new name, Gary. Gary! 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 Gary, Gary is my real name. Yes, after 30 years, my coworkers are finally going to call me by my real name. Oh, boy, I'm blessed. Who is going to be the mayor for the next two months, then? Gary Gergich, how would you like to be the next mayor of Pawnee, Indiana? <gasps> You'll see. Well, I gotta say, that was a heck of a lot of fun. All my life. What on earth? I pray for someone Happy inauguration day, buddy. Oh, jeez, Leslie. I thank God that I, that I finally found you. Our beloved Mayor Gunderson marks the end of an era, but we are about to begin a new chapter in Pawnee's history. Ladies and gentlemen, the new mayor of the great city of Pawnee, Indiana, Gary Gergich. I just want to say...